What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do Hexo, H-E-X-O, and this is another uh, medical marijuana company, part of the MJ Club, and uh, I'd just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications, and like this video, and let's dig right into Hexo and this company for a nice little swing trade, or even more. So I got this article on Seeking Alpha. Hexo Corp is executing its plan flawlessly with more to come. You go down here, you can see what he's talking about. So they just started ramping up a million square foot facility. That is huge. So this company is expanding in Canada with an eye on Europe. And in the past two months, this company has been raising cash through debt and equity. So there's hints out there that something big is going on with this company right now. This is MBS. This is a marijuana production company. And if you scroll down here, you can see Hexo. Hexo announces a partnership with QNBS. This is in Greece, so they're going to be expanding over into Europe. This company is not small. Their production capacity is 108,000 kg. So even though this company is taking on debt, they are also taking in plenty of profits. Here's a look at their website, and that's enough. What's that? I think I see an elephant over there. Oh, yeah, there is. Hexel has an elephant in the room. So this happened back in 2018, August 1st. Molson Coors Brewing Company, they own 57% of Hexel. And then, of course, Hexel owns the rest of the company. So in the future, you know, this could be a little bit of a problem. But if you look on the bright side of it, Coors has great marketing. And the reason why Coors got into this is to make an infused beverage drink. So, I mean, it's, it's not all bad, but long term, it might be. And this is just if you forgot, Hexo is part of the MJ Club. So I got the chart pulled up here. This company is not that old in the NASDAQ. They started back in January 23rd, so it's still pretty young. But you can see how volatile this stock is. All these marijuana companies are so volatile. Let me go ahead and zoom in here real quick. So I got support right about $5, say. And then I got resistance right at about 635. I'm probably planning on getting a buy order in here, probably right around, I think this 200 period or about $5, 515. I think that would be a pretty good entry point. And the RSI is looking at a really good spot, so it's not overbought right now. All in all, I like what this company is doing. They're really growing and expanding. And that's what you need to do when you're starting off. So just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications on these swing trades. And I think this stock's gonna reach $7 pretty soon. So that's, that's just me. Uh, let's make some money!